Hi, I've transported myself back in the dunes. The soft dunes. And the azure blues and turquoise colours that I I saw a lot down in Cornwall just recently on the north side of Cornwall, the Atlantic Ocean. I'm just waiting to see it developing and to see the wet and wet taking shape. I've always found watercolour fascinating and I've always created in it. There's nothing else quite like it because you never know really what's going to come off when you work like this. But all you can do is put your heart and soul into your work. I'm in the studio today and um, it's a lovely sunny day. We've got the sun shining through again so it's perfect and there is no lights on in here at all. So this is just great for watercolour in the natural light. I think the hardest thing with creating this scene, it's quite a big scene as you can see if I go up like that, that's how big it is. It's like a big square, maybe slightly off square. The hardest thing was getting the gradiated washes in this. Um, I used a four colour technique. So I used yellow ochre, gamboge, turquoise and scarlet red. I wanted it to be spontaneous and I wanted to capture where I've just been on holiday in North Cornwall. This is right at the end of the day, before the light fades and this golden light appears. I wanted it all very tonal and in balance with nature. I love to mix on porcelain plates and uh, I use all sorts of brushes in this. As you can see, there's an array of brushes here. And the paints I used, again, were quite a mixture. I used De La Roni. I used, um, where's this beautiful paint? I'm trying to find it, but anyway, yes, I used this one. It's one of my favorite turquoise blues. So I'm not going to paint any more today. This is what I built, built up to all day and my favourite time of the day is between three and four o'clock. It's a lovely time when you get the perfect light like we have today. So I've created this in the new year. Nearly at the, yes, we're at the end of the first week of January. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this. I'll either call it the place that I was at, or I shall call it the sea and dunes. Maybe that, maybe I'll call it that. Who knows?